Well, and what's your temperature on the press right now? Still 170. So you're you're not overheating the material at all yet. No, here. I mean, I'm, I'm showing you. So I'll yeah, show you. Exactly. Yeah, it's right there. I'll go up. I'll go up to 190. And we'll show you the material that comes off at 190. It'll probably be a little more amber. Okay. And I don't know the reason for that. Outside of it's fucking hotter. You're mm. not getting any more. You're not destroying anything. You're, you know, especially since guys like me and Chief, if I'm taking this and putting it into an oven for 150 degrees for 24 hours, you really think I give a fuck if it's at 190 now? That's the true. only thing, the only thing you got to be careful about is having it. See how it's flowing now at 190. I didn't even push the press. Yeah, it's starting to flow out mm -hmm. at a higher temperature. That tells me with this strain. I should be pressing at 178. So here, we'll stop there. Just because I got such a high flow, I'll stop. I'll go back, stay at 180. And now, got... what is the cultivar? Uh, that's the question. This is Healing Herbs uh, Healing Herbs Farms C4 times Lemonhead OG. I call it C4X because it's their cross. But you can get a Tahoe C4 and you can get their Lemonhead OG C4. This is the lemon head OG. It tastes like lemons. All I smell in the air right now is lemons. The limonene is off the chart. Nice. The yeah. extraction comes back at 82% on this and tests. Wow. Now that's the card I have, correct? Yes. Yeah. So it's it's medicinal. I mean, all day long it's medicinal. See how my hand just fell there for a minute? <laughs> The material did that. I didn't. I was just barely holding my hand on this thing, right? And, I mean, there's a little weight on it, but all of a sudden, the material will just give it up. And it's still flowing, you guys. What are we in, Ken? Five minutes now? I I didn't actually start timing it, so. Yeah, I, I didn't either. So, it, you know. What do you think, Chief? Am I doing it right? I when good, I was just kind of mesmerized watching it. <laughs> yeah, so was I. I, I do it, I do it to my own. It's the wee rosin waterfalls, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. See, another, another flow, so, like so, lemon when, drops. so when it's when it's even clearer like that, it's my belief that that because when you extract THCA and you extract the terpenes out of THCA. That's terpenes. That's the last of the terpenes that are coming out of this. It's it's down in the center of the bag. It's it's a combination of pressure and temperature. And and guys, two sixty. Yeah, I need a bigger press. Hmm. Much much bigger. Yes. <laughs> See, there's an easy flow, and then it stops. So now more should come out. I wish I would have weighed it. I should have, but what this will do, let's go to the next slide, Ken. Okay. Oop. Oh, there we go. Next slide. Okay, so this is what they pressed at class. This is that material, you guys. Does it look familiar? You're going to get a little more cloudy out of them. Outdoor is always going to be cloudier. It's got more terpenes, and let's face it, that's grown in Mendocino County. I can't compete with that with two Gavita lights. <laughs> Next slide. Okay. Toaster oven time. 